just check everything you have. You do not own your property because it's under your straw man. They have your loan and you sign as, as a, your signature gives them permission to go into your CCQ account and take the money and get paid. So three days later, your house is paid for and they're supposed to let you know and give you back the monthly payments. But they don't and they don't tell you. So I tell you exactly what, what happened. At the moment, with the IRS, they have a treaty with England and the treaty is that you could apply for, for all the funds that you use out of your withdrawal column of your bank statement from January 1st to December 31st. All that money that you spend, you file it in a 1099 OID, original issue discount, and the IRS tell you you can go back three years, not more than three years. And from then on, you have to file it a year. And guess what? All your, all your mortgage payments you made, you're getting it back because every single dime that you spend, you're getting it back. People have to sit down and stop doing other things that distract them and look at what they're doing to us. Now that money comes back to you. Three years, why does it three years? Because the bank takes it. After three years, the bank tells the IRS that you have abandoned these funds. So the OID is abandoned funds and the bank takes it. Hmm. So it's a fact that you're not supposed to pay mortgage. They've already got paid. Yeah, but I mean, unfortunately, the, the way that the system is set up and the way that everybody's conditioned to understand how it works is that if we don't pay our mortgage, we're going to lose our home. Yeah, well, the thing is you don't own your home anyway, because if you pay off your, your home and you don't pay the taxes every year, they will sell it. You yeah. are just you are just a mere user. They will sell your property and give you the remaining of what they've taken. Or they might turn on and say to you, "Hey, you you owe a deficiency judgment." 